no more vinyl tape on your soldered connections. This is a horrible idea. It is not watertight, it comes undone, moisture and dirt gets in there and it corrodes your connections. Solder the splice, start in the middle, get it heated up, get that solder heated up. Blow to keep the smoke out of your face. And as the solder melts, the surface tension pulls it into the splice. On the right, I used a heat gun on the heat shrink. On the left, I used the lighter. As you can see, the lighter charred the heat shrink. So over time, this will degrade and fall apart. That's why I prefer to use the heat gun. A lighter will work in a pinch, but be careful and don't overdo it. When you make two splices, let's say in a power lead or something, don't do them right next to each other. Offset them a bit, so that way the connections won't rub together. You have separation, you have a sturdy connection here and a sturdy connection here so the joints aren't rubbing against themselves because if they're together like this, then you have just the heat shrink and then the rough solder, it can rub and vibrate and wear through that. So offset your splices if you can. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, criticisms, or favorite barbecue joints, post up in the comments.